Hi guys, today I want to share with you how I edited this photo. It's one of my favorite and uh, yeah, I, I think I'm proud of that because it's in vogue.it. Uh, yeah, they have plenty of photographers and photos there, but anyway, for me it's like a small achievement. So today I want to show you how it was done. So basically I we did several photos where the model was failing on me and uh, my makeup artist was actually shooting <laughs> it was on the tripod so I was securing model so she will not fail and this photo I think went out super good I, if you look close it's a bit blurry but I don't know I love it and I think yeah in Vogue they loved it as well so first thing I've done I removed myself with patch tool this part I'm going to make uh, a little bit faster then from this photo I took her body so I could remove my hands actually I could make with patch tool or yeah but okay this was faster I think so I used black mask and with white brush I just brushed the part of the dress which I want to appear and the part of the grass then from the other photo I took the this part of behind to add it here so to give a more natural look so basically I made a yeah so basically I merged these three photos some parts of them and that's why this is one of the reasons why it's nice to shoot with a tripod because really you can use parts of different photos like backgrounds and other parts which will be better and then so and from this photo I took the this down part of the dress and uh, yeah so again with white brush over the black mask I add this part of the dress where I want it I get rid of this black point there and yeah actually I wanted to add a little bit part up because I think it must be the feeling that she's taking off and with feel content aware I added this part so and then with patch tool I worked a bit to give it more natural look but content aware is really a nice tool when you want to add something or remove something usually it's working very good so and this way I had a perfect base to start color correction so the first thing I've done in curves I went to blue no to red channel and I add a little bit of cyan then in green channel I add a bit of magenta in shadows yeah and then in blue channel I add blue in shadows and yellow in neutrals so yeah this is how I started then uh, the next thing yeah that's the next thing i go to color balance and then in shadows i add some cyan and yeah and i lower a bit opacity of it the next thing again i go to color balance and again to shadows and then i add a little bit of blue a little bit some a little bit of blue in the shadows and then again I go to color balance I just like to make in different layers so if something I don't like I can change opacity or delete it and in mid tones I add red and yellow to give it warmer look yeah then yeah then i go to selective color and i choose black and i add a little bit of cyan in black and again selective color and i go to yellow and in yellow i add a bit of red to yellow again to give it warmer look and yellow so just really the yellow color is more obvious and the next thing hue saturation soft light and I change the opacity and uh, I lower saturation 
not to have so strong colors. Then I go to gradient map and I choose this one, which is giving warmer look. Just we have to change it for soft light and lower opacity. So now we have this really warm, some kind of warm color in our photo instead of green, because I feel it was a bit of green color. So then I want to add black mask to curves, which we made at the beginning. So I remove it from her face just with black brush. So then I want to add another selective color and to add a little bit of cyan in red and to make red a little bit darker. And uh, I want to apply it I want to apply it to her face and her dress so to remove this reddish color and like this just I feel it's standing out the person because if it's, it has the same color as background it's just looking all the same but if it has some different color is just standing out more so then I go to yellow in selective color and uh, I add more yellow to yellow and more red to yellow which I think even better and with black brush I'm removing it from her face and her dress and from this dark parts because I believe it was not there I believe in the shadows it was more like more cyan color than red and I want to add more black to yellow so yeah like this our model really stands out which is great and this is the before and after so let's merge Let's merge all layers together and I want to make a bit of cropping because I believe she was in the middle in the photo. So like this and uh, I think I want to choose the color of her dress like this kind of yellow white and I will make an empty layer and I use color mood and I paint it. So the dress has really one even color and uh, like this it just stands out more for me so in the next thing what i've done i used a bit liquify tool and i edited a bit her face but really doesn't need a lot of addition just to add a little bit of uh, contrast to her face uh, to her eyes for example and yeah basically that's all so yeah that's it so guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss next tutorial, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys. Bye bye.